So it is my great pleasure today to join with you all here at Parliament House to launch this document, A Right to Respect, focused as it is on prevention, a 10-year strategy, short, medium and long-term objectives, all designed to make our state a better state, a fairer state and a safer state. It'll do that, as I've said, over a 10-year time frame and it contains short and medium and long-term measures. And it recognises that changing those underlying causes requires building respectful relationships. And so it's also an ambitious plan uh, for achieving all of the necessary cultural change that we've heard about today, the necessary change in attitudes that can stop that violence from occurring in the first place. So in terms of our response to family violence, um, it has been a very significant and comprehensive re reform. But now our new focus is on prevention. And all violence is preventable and all violence is unacceptable. And the research um, from Vic Health has shown us that uh, violence against women isn't a constant. It does vary from country to country and from community to community. It also tells us that the key determinants and factors um, contributing to the perpetration of violence against women are unequal power relationships between men and women, gender stereotyping, and broader cultures of violence. So what is needed is a broad cultural change which will affect a behavioural change in our community. And I think Victoria has led the way in terms of these sort of programs in the past. By giving this fight the priority it both demands and deserves, thankfully we're seeing more survivors come forward, more charges laid and intervention orders sought by police, more perpetrators brought to justice, more communities speaking out. We can't think for a moment, however, that the hard work is done. Today, we take the next crucial step towards a Victoria that rejects family violence for the gutless crime that it is.